Well, just a couple quick updates here. Not going to be too much of an update. I just wanted to show that I got the run buttons installed. Turned out just fine. The original holes were there from uh, somebody in the past that converted this control panel to UMK3. And I reconverted it back to MK1, but the run holes were already there, so I, all I had to do was to drill through the Lexan and the uh, control panel overlay. But both turned out just fine. And I also got the artwork here, the new artwork for the control panel box. Now the midway sides turned out just fine. On MK1, the midway is not centered in the middle of the side. It's actually kind of lower towards the bottom. And that's how these turned out. They turned, they're pretty good. Uh, they're actually pretty darn accurate in my opinion. But that's about where the accuracy ends. The front piece is good, but kind of not. I mean, you're missing the R by the Y. And the dragons are too small. They're also too close to the midway. Now I'm going to cut away here and show you a picture of the original, the way this used to be before I painted it. Uh, I took some pictures of the way this control panel box used to be before I painted it. And you'll see that the dragon, maybe you might be able to see, you can see the outline of the dragon is the, the entire, it's right here. It's almost the exact size of the height of the front piece here. You can kind of see the outline of where it used to be. It's that big. This one is not. It's about an inch too short on top and an inch too short on bottom. Plus, it's way out here on the edge of each side. So there's about uh, this much space in between the dragon and the Y and a corresponding side between the dragon and the M. You can see here that it's a lot closer. So I'm kind of torn between whether I'm going to leave it the way it is or cut out the midway and cut out the dragons and put them in the spots where they're supposed to be. I'd almost rather just do that, put them where the, in the spots where they're supposed to be. So we'll see, but I'll, you, I'm going to put this on there, but before I do, uh, I'm going to cut away, you'll see a picture of what it used to look like. So you can see and compare, I mean, here's the way this one looks. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the front of the control panel the way it used to be. When I peeled off that old decal I had, it took all the black paint with it. But as you can see looking at it, that the dragon on the left has about an inch between the outside of it and the M, and the dragon on the right has about an inch between it and the top right corner of the Y. Plus they take up pretty much the entire height of the control panel. So I don't know if I'm going to try and emulate the way this looks here, or just leave it the way it is and apply as one piece. Because I, I'm not quite sure yet, I'll figure it out. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to the sides and show you how to do the, the side to the control panel box. And then I'll figure out with the front whether I'm going to try and emulate the way this looks or just leave it the way it is. So hold on a minute. So for the sides here, what I'd recommend is removing your T-molding. I have removed the T-molding. You're going to want to take your decal and place it where you're going to want it to be. And then peel back one corner of it. Get it, stick your, I'd say about an inch or so, stick that on there and then peel your decal away, peel off your protective backing, and then do the rest of the decal. And the parts that overlap, I would actually cut off the underside, but I would not cut off around where the T-molding goes. Cut off the underside, because there's no T-molding that goes on the bottom. Instead of cutting off around the, the area where the T-molding goes, just fold it around. You're going to have to put a slice where the bends are, and then just fold it over. That way your T-molding will protect it. When you reapply the T-molding, it'll protect it and it'll keep it from getting pulled off. If something scrapes across here, it won't get peeled off. The only problem is it might get peeled off from the bottom, but nothing you can really do about that. So I would recommend doing it that way. So I'm going to cut away here. When I come back, you'll see it applied, but I will not have it cut off or the T-molding reapplied so I can show you how it looks. So hang on. All right, I got this side applied. And you can see here, like a little bit, left over here. What you're going to want to do is you want to slit your corners. See how I, I'm oh, sorry, I slit that corner. Take your decal and fold it over. When you fold it over, put your T-molding back on, it'll protect it from getting pulled off. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll get the T-molding back on. Hold on one second. And here's the left side complete. You can see here, maybe not. Uh, it's all tucked underneath. T-molding is back on. It turned out 
absolutely perfect. It doesn't hang over anywhere, so there's no chance of you, there's no way, possible way to do this and, and actually catch it and peel it off or, or cut it. It's hidden underneath the T-molding. Turned out perfectly. Let's repeat the process on the other side, and we'll figure out what to do with the front. All right, and here's this side. I think it turned out even better than the other side. So, on to the front piece. Once I figure out what I'm going to do, when I cut back, you'll see how it ended up. Well, I decided to go ahead and leave it the way it was. It's not so bad, uh, and anybody who isn't familiar with the way it is supposed to look would never know. Plus the fact that this material isn't exactly the thinnest material in the world. This stuff kind of has some thickness to it. And if I cut this stuff out with a pair of scissors and stuck it on there, you'd look at it and see how thick it is and it would just be standing out. And I, like this black and that black and the black in between the letters would be different from the gloss black I used behind it. And it just wouldn't look right. So I went ahead and just left it the way it was and uh, it turned out pretty good. So, control panel is complete, uh, artwork and buttons and whatnot. I, like I say, I got all the security screws installed. All those turned out good. Got the run buttons installed and the artwork done. So, uh, still waiting on the iPack and still waiting on the, what else, the video amp. They have to come from Ultramark directly. And I believe Ultramark is based out of London. So, maybe a week or so before I do another update. Uh, but control panel artwork and modifications are done, so I guess uh, that completes this update, and we'll see you next time.